everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Friday. Oh my gosh. So I got a couple things for you guys today. First of all, they have restocked those new foodie candles and I am reviewing the brand new raspberry tangerine for Mother's Day. I'm super excited about this one. But first, let's chat a little bit about these new candles. So of course, all of us probably got up really early this morning just to check to see if everything came back online. And sure enough, they did restock. The bad news is that there was no sale. But if you had a 20% off coupon, it's a little bit better. Um, currently, they have uh, the Clementine Sherbet. Is it Sherbet or Sherbert? I always say Sherbert. That's a Midwestern thing. Um, they have the Blueberry Pie, which is not available yesterday. That's a new one. And they had the coconut cream pie that are still available. They had a couple more. They had the coffee one this morning. Um, can't remember what other ones they had this morning, but they were on early. So my advice is get up early and check if you're looking for stuff I packed them by. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm like, nah, now I'm going to get up early every morning. <laughs> but uh, I did not reorder anything um, without, I did get six yesterday. So I was pretty happy with that. The second thing I wanted to tell you is that I thought my Mother's Day tote was coming today. I was super excited. I got a message from Lasership that it says um, estimated delivery May 1st. So I thought it was coming May 1st. But then when I click this morning, usually it'll, it'll say out for delivery. And now it just says process. So I don't know. It might not come today. And that's fine. I am in no rush. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Um, I'd rather all of our uh, Bath & Body Works workers be safe and take a little bit longer to process everything than get it fast. Like I said, I'm in no rush. It's not a big deal. I just wanted to let you know because I said I was going to be having that video today. So if I don't, that's because I didn't get it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all good. So anyway, my gosh, my hands, you guys, for some reason, my hands are itching so bad today. In between my fingers, I am breaking out so bad from all of this excessive hand washing. I'm so sick of washing my hands. I've been using all kinds of soap, Purell, everything. Everyone's hands are such a mess right now. I just noticed that mine are itching really bad. Let's get so. to Raspberry Tangerine. So Raspberry Tangerine is part of this new collection with the gorgeous, gorgeous jars. I reviewed the Fresh Cut Lilacs a couple days ago. This one is so pretty. And Raspberry Tangerine is equally as pretty in this orange flowered container here. Look at this jar. I love these jars. These are so pretty. We have the wraparound plastic on here and raspberry tangerine. Okay, I'm not going to lift this one over my head, you guys. I'll be good. I usually lift candles over my head and everyone goes, no. <laughs> Let me find uh, the notes on this one. Home fragrance, candles, three wick. Okay, um, these pretty jars come in. We've got the raspberry tangerine, fresh cut lilacs, Rosewater and Ivy, Crisp Green Apple, Woodland Springs, and Marble Toffee. And the notes on this one are going to be Fresh Tangerine, lemon, a Wild Raspberry Fresh Tangerine, and Lemon Zest. And it's funny. You know what's interesting about this one? So this has the thicker wick um, on it. Remember I was saying the other day that you either get the really thin wicks or you get a little bit of thicker wick with Bath & Body Works. I kind of prefer the thin wicks because they light easier for me. This, these do take a little time to light, but the thick wicks tend to burn a little bit faster. Um, I don't think it affects the burn quality or anything. Um, I, I, I feel like maybe the thin wicks burn a hair cleaner, but that could just be me. Um, I do like the lids on these, by the way. Check out how pretty these lids are. They're gorgeous. They have a little, I always like a, a fancy lid. I don't know why. Love the fancy lid. So this one, when I first lit it up, um, I definitely got the raspberry. And it's funny because cold, this one definitely just smells like raspberry tangerine, straight on fruit. Um, there's nothing else in here. There's no floral. There's no musk. It's just raspberry tangerine. And it smells very tart. When I lit this one, I wasn't sure I liked the first scent that came out. It was just kind of an odd smell a little bit. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. But then after it burned, um, I had it burning for about, oh, probably since nine. So over an hour and a half this morning. Oh my gosh, this one kind of picks up after about the first 10, 15 minutes, I felt. So I had it burning in my other room. 
came out here and worked for a little bit because I like to kind of segregate and walk in and kind of get the scent uh, notes going. And then I brought it out here. So I love this one. It is straight on fruity, tart, raspberry, tangerine. I smell the raspberry a little bit more than the tangerine. Um, the throw on this one, it starts off pretty light. I was thinking, I don't know, this one's not, not a very good throw, but after it burned for about an hour, the throw definitely picked up. I would say this is a solid medium. I don't think it's as strong as the Fresh Cut Lilacs, but it's not weak at all. So there's definitely a nice um, medium throw going on with this one. And it's a very relaxing, pleasant scent. It's not harsh. It, there's no sharp edge to it. It's just a nice, it smells tartar. Um, tartar? <laughs> Is that a word? More tart <laughs> when it's cold. But once it gets burning, I don't know if that... Um, like the tangerine kind of evens it out a little bit, but it definitely is just like a nice spring summer fruit candle. It kind of reminds you of a little bit of a popsicle or something, but I am definitely loving this one. I love the jar, I love the burn, and I love the scent. So there is my very happy raspberry tangerine. It kind of reminds me of something. It's funny, I think this is like a distant cousin to the, um, the unicorn sprinkles but in a better way it's funny because you know how unicorn sprinkles has that super tart lemon kind of scent to it um that's why i think i wasn't sure i was gonna like it because it reminded me a little bit of unicorn sprinkles but the raspberry evens it out a little bit to me so i like that raspberry mixed in i almost think that this would have been a better choice for unicorn sprinkles than the one that was unicorn sprinkles <laughs> that makes sense. I, I don't know. Unicorns still remind me of something like cotton candy. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. If I get my tote today, you know I'm coming on with that, and I may do another video today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.